So here's a good example of um, accidentally going through to the other side. So we're gonna show you how to fix that if you, that happens to you. The holes are small, so I really don't need that much space. But the coupler itself, it has the same shape as the pipe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this coupler in half this way, and I'm gonna cut it in half this way as well. Probably cut it in half this way first. And that will give me four different patches that I can use out of this one coupler. And we use a coupler because it acts like a, a, a sleeve or a bandage over that hole. And then we'll use glue to, to lock it in place. So anyways, let's cut this coupler in half and then in another half. So we're getting quarters. Now, when we use this, that's the hole right there. We use it as a sleeve. Pop it over like that. And boom, it's gonna cover that hole up once we got the glue in there. This is the final product. But you can tell it's, it's a sleeve, so our coupler. So two pipes are supposed to fit into it, so it's gonna fit the shape of the aquifer pipe perfectly. And we open it up, we put glue where the hole's at, and then we slap it on and then it's like this. Flip, flip the pipe over, we're gonna see how it fits. So that's gonna cover that hole that's underneath it, right there. Okay. We have glue, so let's don't forget the glue. You just need to put glue around where the where the hole's at. The rest of the part doesn't need glue. So, that's it. I have two mistakes on this one. This one's cl closer to the bottom, so I definitely need where the, the lip goes down. Let's see if this is gonna fit. Yep, that's gonna fit perfectly. So, some glue around the hole. Grab the pipe. Now this is ABS glue. ABS glue is a, a certain type of glue. This one's not as tight as a fit though. So, because it's not as tight as a fit, we're gonna put glue on both sides. And that'll, that thickness will give it more of that sealing properties. Okay. 